welcome to the world, everybody. We're gonna turn this off real quick. Okay, so today what we're doing, well, one of the many things we're doing today, um, my hair is this way today. I'm so used to my hair being on this side that I wanna like sweep it over that way. But my hair's on this side today, so that's a thing. Um, got my coffee, got my water, and today we're gonna be cleaning my brushes. Um, I've got quite a few brushes and cleaning is something that I do quite frequently. I just figured I'd kind of show you guys how I do it today. And I thought this would be a great chance for me to show off that little unicorn gadget that I got at the Dollar Tree. So I've got two bowls of warm water. Normally I do this in the sink, but I can't take my camera to the sink. So we're doing it here with bowls. Um, the water was scalding hot and then it sat while I got the rest of my stuff ready. And we're going to kind of unsuction this guy here so I can show him to you. But we're going to try. Come on. Um, and so what we're going to be trying out today is this little guy. It's super cute. And you want to make sure you've got him good and submerged. And I've got him good and submerged. Um, and so I've got that, my two bowls of water, I've got a uh, light soap, which what this is, is um, it's a Pampered Chef foamer. I use it to do my dishes. Um, and what I do is I use a light detergent and then I dilute it. And so we're going to use the diluted detergent, which turns out to be a very light detergent on your brushes. Um, and then I have a towel to lay them out to dry. And then once I've got them laid out on the towel, I have my Mary Kay brush cleaner, which also sanitizes my brushes. Um, and so this is my last step. Um, you can use just this to clean it, but mine get really bad. So it takes a lot of this. So I would rather use kind of a light detergent. Um, we've got my little squisher. We're not going to wash that, but I keep it with my brushes. We're gonna, just going to set that guy off to the side. Um, we're also going to be doing my beauty blender to kind of clean that dude up. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of move my watch back a bit so that she doesn't get dirty or wet. Um, I'm less concerned about her getting wet as I am about her getting covered in makeup pigment. Because um, we can, what we're going to do is what we can do, we're going to go ahead and water lock her. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to have one bowl for the dirty and one for the clean, I think. So we're going to kind of actually, no, we're going to move these guys to my little white cup. So I have this guy and I have this guy. We're going to put them in this guy because they're easier to grab that way. And yes, I have a lot of brushes. Oh, no. Oh, there, that happened. We're going to go ahead and just put this one back here so that it's off to the side. Move my water. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So here we go. So we're going to go ahead and switch these guys around. We're going to do washing, rinsing, 
and then we're going to set my towel up over here for drying. And what I do for drying my, my brushes is I just lay them flat and let them dry on their own. So we've got our drying towel, washing, rinsing, drying. That's how we're going to go. So we're going to go ahead and jump on into it. I'm going to put a little bit of my detergent on my unicorn horn, about two pumps worth. Get it out of frame. Attempt to. And we're going to start with one of my older all over shadow brushes. I just dip it in the water. And I've not used this unicorn thing before, so we're going to kind of see how it works. Oh, that's actually really neat. I'm just going in circular motions. Kind of rinsing as I go. Grab some fresh soap and start anew. And one of my methods of knowing when I'm good is because the soap will come out clear. And as you can tell, because you can tell by the color of the bristles, there's still pigment in there. So we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of soap directly on the brush. Right there at the base. I usually use my hand for this. So using this unicorn thing is a bit new to me. I might have to slide it up the bowl a bit so I have more room to work with. I'm going to try and like use that to push it down the bristles. One of my other theories is if it squeaks, it's clean. So we're going to kind of tap it off, dip it in our rinse bowl, swirl it a bit, and we get no bubbles, so we're going to go ahead and squeeze it out and lay it to dry. And I'm laying it flat like this. I'm just laying it flat like this up over here. And then we're going to go ahead and start with one of, the, we'll try one of the bigger brushes. Um, so this is my Mary Kay powder brush. And again, we're going to dip it in the water. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a little bit of a swirl because it's thicker. I'm going to try and clean off some of that from the last brush. We are going to slide this up the bowl a bit. Well, we were going to try, but that's apparently not cooperating. Urgh. Oh, guys, these really have suction. Okay, maybe if I unsuction two of the bits, we can move it. There we go. Okay. All right, so it's resuctioned. We're going to put a little squirt of soap. And just kind of swirl. And as you can tell, the water instantly got a whole lot dirtier. And then we're going to go ahead and dip in the rinse water. And the water does run clear, as you can see. So we're going to squeeze it out. 
and lay it over there to dry. I kind of run it along the towel like so to reform it and then lay it there to dry. I think the next one we're going to do is this little guy. We're going to dip him. We're going to apply the soap directly to this guy. Because one end of this I have to wash by hand, which is the little scope comby end. And we're going to go ahead and give that guy a little bristle. And then we'll dip it in our rinse water, lay it to dry. So this brush actually is unused, so we'll just sanitize that one and we'll set it offside separate. I'll be right back. I'm going to go dump this and get clean water. Okay, um, Okay, I'm back. Um, our rinse water is still okay, but I needed clean wash water. So this is still uh, warm water, not too, too hot, but warm enough to be like steamy. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and keep moving.
because these two are the same brush. They're both the angled wet and wild like contour brush. I'm going to do them at the same time. Uh, fun fact, the reason you want to lay your brushes flat to dry is you either want to lay them flat or hang them upside down so that the water doesn't seep down into your handle here and the brushes start to, um, can start to come unglued or come undone and then they'll start shedding and you'll lose bristles. Um, so you always want to dry them either upside down or laying flat. I lay them flat on an absorbent surface. Uh, this is a Wet n Wild Cheeky brush. It's very, very old. It's very, very stained. I'll be very, very surprised if this can unstain some of it. Before we even add soap, we're going to go ahead and give it a good rub through. Oh wow, it's actually getting some of the stuff off.
Okay, this one's still soapy. Uh, this one's still soapy, so I'm going to take this one to the sink to rinse it, and we're going to get new water while we're at it. Okay, so um, this one was really holding on to the soap, so I went ahead and rinsed it at the counter. Um, as you can tell, it's not as white as the others, um, like I mentioned, because it is stained, but that did get out a lot. Um, so I'm really impressed. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next brush now. Shape the brush, lay it down to dry. And so what I'm doing real quick is I'm just kind of checking my other brushes and I'm really impressed because they're drying pretty quickly. So it's not holding on to like a whole lot of extra moisture. We'll go ahead and do this one next because I feel like this one should be a pretty quick and easy brush to do. It shouldn't have a whole lot of product stuck in it. And I was right, not a lot of product. Nice, quick, easy. We'll do the same on this one. Again, nice, quick, easy. Uh, this is the um, Sonia Kasnuk version of that brush. Um, I use it for defining my lips mostly. So it's just got a little bit of lipstick on it.
and now we've got my Mary Kay brow liner brush. Um, this is going to have a little bit of product on this end and some product in here. So we're going to do this side first and then this side. Next, we're going to do the slightly larger version of that little smoky line brush from One Wild. We're going to really give this one a good dose of soap because this one um, is what I use mostly for like my sticky stuff, so like my super sticky glitters and whatnot. And as you can see, it let go of some of the glitter, but it's not wanting to let go of all of the glitter. So we're going to go ahead and go in again and do it. And we're going to be a little bit more aggressive. Which I don't normally advocate for being aggressive when it comes to your brushes. And we're going to rinse. And it's not like super clean. It's got some pigment staining, but that's okay. Next, we're going to go in with the all over eyeshadow brushes. Uh, first, we'll do the Wet n Wilds. And then we'll do two, we'll do the two floofers. So we're going to go ahead and finish off the Wet n Wild brushes, then we'll finish off the uh, Sonia Cas oh, Kashuk, my apologies, brushes, and then we'll finish off the Mary, Mary Kay brushes. We're going to dip, apply some soap, and go to town. We're going to do the, brown, the pink one first because I know the brown one's going to be full of color.
Next are the Flugers. And again, I don't generally advocate being aggressive with your brushes, but I know there's some pigment left in there still. So I'm just kind of going a little ham with it. Not a lot, just a little. But you can tell by like the suds that are still there that there's still some pigment. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and finish off these brushes. Um, I got them in a set. Uh, they should be pretty quick and easy. This one's like a little sponge, so I'm just going to be real careful with it. Um, and then these are just like regular brushes, so we're going to just kind of... Oh, I made it rid of the spill. So we're just going to kind of dip this one in where there's some suds already. And then just
I'm going to uh, go get fresh water and then try this one again. I think it might be stained. Okay, fresh water, we're gonna try again. Cause I don't know if it's just stained or what. We're gonna kinda go ham with it, be a little bit aggressive. See if maybe aggression will get it out. Cause we're getting some pigment out. It's just not wanting to like come out. So we're gonna stab it on the bottom a little bit. Yeah, guys, I think it's just stained. So we're going to go ahead and rinse it. And set it off to dry. All right, so all we've got left is Mary Kay brushes.
Now this brush did shed a little bit, but it's also one of my older brushes. Um, so I expect a little bit of shedding. And you'll notice you get most of the pigment out of like the larger brushes because they can really hold it in there. Okay, the next brush we're gonna do is the definition, the eye definer. This is the one I use for my liquid eyeshadow currently. Um, so it like it holds a bit of pigment, it also gets washed a lot, it just looks bad.
And again, we're gonna go get fresh water. Be right back. Okay guys, I'm back with our last bowl of water because the last thing we're gonna do is the beauty blender because these things need clean too. So first we're gonna give it a good dip. And then we're gonna lather it with soap. And whereas the brushes, you don't really have to get your hand wet with this one. It does require getting your hand in there. And we do this so that we know it's nice and clean. So with my beauty blender, I, I because it's a sponge, I'm not afraid to just get in there, work the soap through it to get all of that foundation out. And then you're gonna it's gonna take a good couple of rinses. That water's gonna come through milky. And what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna dip in the clean water. And Squeeze it into the dirty and dip into the clean. And strategically from the bottom to the top, because I don't generally use this side, so I want all of the water to rinse out through this side, through this side. And you'll notice the water is getting clearer. Roll and squeeze. Roll.
And because we've got a bit of a spot right there, we're going to take just a little bit more soap and kind of work it through. Okay, and then to let my beauty blender dry, guys, I've got this like little makeshift cap thing I made. Um, it's just like a lid within a lid within a lid, and it just kind of sits perfectly on top of it like that. So give me a couple seconds. I'll be right back, and we'll do our final step.
Okay guys, so I'm back. I've got my bowls rinsed. I've got all of my brushes laid out to dry. Um, and so the very last step is to spray them with my Mary Kay brush cleaner. And what I always do is I shake it up um focus focus cool that worked okay so I just missed it over them And then I get my beauty blender too, but I do that one from like a distance so that everything is all nice, clean, sanitized. Now we just wait for that to dry. Okay, so. Um, now that they've been misted, I just leave them sit and let them dry. Once they're dried, you can go ahead and put them away. Um, like I said, generally I do that in a sink, but I wanted you guys to be able to kind of see how I do it. Now that you've seen it, I'm going to let my brushes dry and then put them away. Um, and so on that note, it was wonderful, you know, showing you guys how I do this. It was nice to kind of check in with you. Um, Stay tuned for more comment, uh, content, not comment, I'm sorry. Um, comment down below, let me know if this is how you do yours or if you use one of those neat machines because I've kind of thought about getting one of those machines, I'm just not 100% sure. So let me know what you think about them. Um, say hi if you're new down in the comments below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Don't feel free to share this with your friends because fun fact, you need to be cleaning your brushes daily. Um, Mine, I had not cleaned them daily. I've been specifically using a brush for each look so that I could have like all of my brushes and clean them all in one great big go. Um, and now that they're all clean, I'm going to go back to cleaning them daily. I generally clean them like after I've used them because it's the best thing for you, for your health, for your brushes, keeps germs at bay, um, as well as gets dead skin and loose pigment off your brushes so they're nice and clean for the next use so you don't have muddy looks. On that note, wonderful talking with you guys. Um, I hope you stick around to have some more fun with us. I know today's video wasn't super, super fun, but I'm hoping it was informative. My brain just froze. Apparently I need more coffee. And since I can't remember what I was saying, we're going to go ahead and just close our video on out um, with how we always close our videos out which is wonderful talking with you. I look forward to talking with you guys again. Remember, be kind to one another. Be the change you want to see in the world. Here's a new one. Be kind to yourself. And don't forget, right about now, a smile's infectious. Talk to you guys later. Bye.